hey guys welcome to coding simplified and today we'll see a very basic problem so we need we are given a number and we need to find out that whether this number is palindrome or not right so palindrome means that if you go from starting to end and again from end to start so it should be the same right so like in this case uh, what, what you can see here that we have one two three then two one so even if you reverse it and then it will be same right so 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 that's what the logic i'm thinking that what i will do i will basically uh, reverse the, the reverse the number and i will check that if it is equal to the starting number or not if it is equal it means uh, my number is palindrome otherwise it is not right so so for that i have taken one s so my target is to that at the starting s is zero and my number is this so i will keep on i, I will keep on doing uh, the reverse from the end and at the last i will check this s that whether this s is equals to the starting number or not right so uh, so what i will do i i have taken s equal to 0 now i am doing this one this s equals to s multiplication by 10 and number is uh, number is remainder of 10 right and at every position I am doing number equal to number divided by 10 number divided by 10 right and so and I will iterate it until number is greater than 0 so uh, like here when this will go so in the first iteration it will be s into 10 so it will be 0 into 10 0 and number remainder of 10 so it will be 1 right and number divided by 10 so it number will be 1 2 3 2 right now in the next iteration it will be 1 cross 2 plus uh, remainder which is 2 so it will be 1 2 and my number will be 1 2 3 right in the next iteration it will be 12 into 10 plus 3 so it will be 1 2 3 and it will be 12 in the next iteration it will be 1 2 3 cross 10 plus 4 plus 2 so it will be 2 and it will be 1 and in the next iteration it will be 1 2 3 2 1 and this is zero right so now my number is zero so i want to go further and if you see that this s finally is equals to the number initially right so what i will do i will basically take a variable uh, i will store a variable let's say t variable so i will say t equals to number right and at the last i can check s equals to t right so as you can see exactly that this number is equals to the uh, the s which we are doing we are solving right so in this case this is palindrome but let's say uh, if the number was only one two three right so if number was only one two three in this case what would happen so let's say if your number is one two three right so in this case uh, at the starting it will be zero and then it will be one two three two one so so it will be like this so here is my s here is my number num so at the starting it will be 0 1 2 3 now it will be 3 it will be 12 now it will be 32 it will be 1 and it will be 3 to 1 and 0 right so now this 3 to 1 and this 1 to 3 is are not equal right so if it is not equal it means they are not palindrome right so now let me show you through code as well so here is my basic function uh, if palindrome so here i will pass the uh, number which i want to check so let's say at the starting let's take basic case one two three two one so now what will happen that here is my function if palindrome and here i'm passing the value and this is my boolean because i will return true or false so at the starting i'm storing this t in the uh, as a variable and now s is zero so i will operate it until t is greater than zero and h each iteration I am doing as explained as equals to s cross 10 plus t remainder by 10 and decreasing t by uh, by half by 10 right so t equal to t by 10 and at the last I check that whether the whether the s and starting value this value matches or not if it matches it will return true as it would return false right so that's uh, that's the basic question we have checked that how to check if a particular number is palindrome or not and guys if you have any doubt regarding it please write in the comment section and uh, if you talk about the complexity so complexity will be big of n or so n here basically the number of digits 
right because as we know like in this case 1 2 3 2 1 we, uh, we did it for uh, five times because at for each digit we are doing iteration we are doing reverse right so uh, that is why uh, that is why uh, the complexity is big of n so that's it about it and uh, if you have liked the video then please like it and subscribe the channel for more such videos thank you